My name is Erin Walrath. I am a vegetable gardener. My husband and I own a business designing, building, and growing vegetables for private clients. We've been doing that for about 17 years. And today I'm just gonna show um, a few tips about growing herbs from seed. Okay, so here we have about 10 different herbs that have been recently seeded. They're approaching the point where they need to be uh, thinned out and or transplanted. Of course, each one is growing at its own rate, so not all of them are ready today for that. But uh, our most crowded pot here is the basil, which was uh, pretty densely seeded. And um, what I could do today, now that the true leaves are showing and they're a little over an inch tall, is I could just thin it down to a few plants right in the center and then could use that in my planter or in my garden. Um, however, because there are so many, I can actually divide it so that there's not quite so much waste. Um, I could divide it into even as many as four chunks and probably be quite successful if I transplant it in, in a way that it's properly watered and can slowly transition into its new environment. But for the sake of this, maybe I'll just divide it into two um, and then I'll thin one side of it. You can see that the roots, even though the plants are so short, the roots are already reaching the bottom, but it's by no means root bound. Um, and if I just gently, this has been recently watered too, so that the plants aren't stressed out when I'm doing this. But if I just gently uh, pull it apart like that, you can see how I could do that again on each side and end up um, being probably just fine. But this way I can take half of the plant and get it um, transplanted into another spot. Um, and then what's remaining can be thinned. So a basil plant wants to get, you know, sometimes up to 20 inches high. Um, so if you have too many together, they're gonna fight for nutrients and space. So there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either just gently pull the plants out by the roots and discard them. Um, that works at this stage. Once they begin to get more root bound, that's a little trickier because then you're potentially disrupting the roots of the plants that you're keeping. Um, there's a lot of thinning here because this was a very heavily seeded pot. Another way you can do it, especially as they get taller, is to just clip at the base, right at the soil level, clip the unwanted plants. Works either way. The key is really just minimal disruption to the plants that you're keeping, and then you'll wanna water them again when you're finished. So right now I probably have about 10 remaining seedlings, which is actually still a little too much for basil for the garden. So there we go. I'm more comfortable with that amount of plants, especially if it's going into the ground where it has a lot of nutrients to draw from around it. If you're planting basil in a pot, um, you might want even less, maybe three or four uh, plants.